Hello everybody, it's Dan Campbell with Texas Open Door Realty. And as I told you yesterday, um, we are going to continue with the process of filing an online protest of tax valuation. Yesterday we did step one, which is file the protest, how you do that online. And then overnight I received an email on the protest that I filed yesterday that says there is a settlement offer available. Um, and so I, you click on this and um, once you click on that, it'll, it'll, it'll take you to their website where you enter the data that, um, that's required. Um, I did that, entered the email address and the password and it opens up my homepage. <coughs> so had an interesting situation happened today. So I started through the process and I actually got to a dead end, unable to uh, upload documents to any of the files that I'd protested, except for the one yesterday uh, that I did on Stonewall in Stonewall subdivision. It allowed me to manage documents, upload documents. You'll see that protest is still pending. Um, so, but all the rest of my properties, um, it, it just, there was no link to manage documents, no link to upload anything. So I called the, the tax office. They said it should appear in 24 hours. It's 24 hours now. And there was no link. Uh, I called the tax office. I explained when I clicked view settlement offer, uh, you know, nothing, uh, nothing happened. Basically it just gave me this message. Like this one says this property is appropriately appraised. I said, what do I do now? How do I upload documents? They said, we're not sure. Uh, we were told it would, the link would appear. Well, once I went ahead and declined and asked for a scheduled hearing and I hit that button, then it opened up this um, opportunity for me to upload documents. So all the files suddenly appeared with this manage document link so that's what you need to do. If you don't get a managed document link immediately when you file your protest, uh, once they send you the review settlement offer and you decline it, and then they will open up an opportunity for you to upload documents where you can go ahead and upload documents. Um, and then we'll see what happens at that point. So for me, um, let me show you how that, that's going to work. Um, so going back to the appraisal office, so I'm going to have to enter my information again. It'll open up my homepage, which is what this is. And then I can go in, I'll show you, there's one property that I have not uploaded the documents yet. So it says manage documents. It's asking me to upload documents. I've already prepared my comparable sales, which I'm happy to do for you. And um, I'm gonna upload those as a PDF uh, for this property, which is on Sandy Koufax. And uh, so I have two things to upload. I have a footage adjustment because I just now realized that the footage that they have been taxing me on is higher than what my appraiser said the house appraises for. And so I put a cover sheet on this appraisal and noted the difference, what they had appraised my property for as far as the footage, what they estimated the footage is, and then what my actual appraiser, when I bought the property, said the house actually measures out at. And I noted that on this cover sheet and the difference in footage. So I'm going to upload that so they'll be able to see that very clearly why I'm including, including this old appraisal. Um, and then uh, the next thing, it's going to accept it. Oh, it says it exceeded the maximum file size. Well, I'll have to go back and shorten that, make that file size smaller. So I'll do that in a little bit, but I also am going to upload the um, the comparables for this. So hopefully it will accept this file of my comparable sales. Yes, it did. 
So that's what happens. And then we'll wait and see what happens uh, at this point. Um, they'll either schedule, you'll get an email immediately saying that they're going to schedule you, a, um, that you've declined your protest, that they're gonna notify you of your hearing date, that you will have the opportunity to go in and meet informally with an appraiser before you go before the appraisal review board, which is the way it's always worked in Williamson County. Last year, Travis County changed it up. They did not allow you to do this informally. You had to go before the appraisal review board. I don't know what they're gonna do this year, but um, anyway, this is um, you know what Williamson County is doing. And of course, Travis County had said earlier that they were not going to raise their, um, their valuations this year uh, from last year. So, uh, and then I heard uh, rumblings that maybe they were gonna change their approach on that. So I'm not sure. <clears throat> anyway, hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Reach out to me, dan at texasopendoor.com, or you can call or text me, 512-699-7082.